You may have heard today's the first day of our fun annual tradition here at WHO 13. We've come a long way. Look, look at the original. That's the original RV, <laughs> right? RV TV. We are in Ankeny, the district at Prairie Trail. Keith Murphy joins us live right now. Hey, Keith. Hi, Elias. Uh, we are here at the district at Prairie Trail. We're in Ankeny. So I just went around looking for Ankeny residents, trying to find one. I just found someone uh, from Ankeny. And uh, sir, your name? Uh, my name is TJ Otzelberger. TJ Otzelberger, and you live here in Ankeny? I do. Uh, happy resident, proud to be here. Love to see everybody coming out. Ankeny is the best place on earth to live. Best place on earth to live, that's quite an endorsement. And what made you move to Ankeny? It's, it's TJ, right? It, it is, it's TJ. Um, Great community uh, for our kids. We have a young family, awesome schools, great people. Um, just love the people here, love being here. Right, and, and what do you do for a living? Um, I impersonate uh, a basketball coach from time to time. <laughs> All right, that is uh, TJ Altsberger, as you know, the head coach of the Iowa State Cyclones. And what, what does this rivalry mean to you in this week? Well, it's, it's a huge week. I mean, this is the best rivalry in all the college sports. Uh, you see the passion from the fan bases, and, you know, we're fortunate. Uh, we've been on the positive end of this thing, and we're looking forward to some big wins, none bigger than a football win for Matt Campbell and his team come Saturday. All right, what is your favorite memory from all your years of Cyhawk series, basketball, football? What, what comes to mind? Well, obviously, being a basketball coach, I remember a game at Hilton Coliseum. We were down big at halftime. Jared Utoff felt like he had made every shot he had taken, and it came all the way down to the stretch. I remember George Niang with a big layup late to give us a lead, and just a huge win in Hilton. Credit to our fan base. Was this the George Niang moment, the kiss? Uh, I cannot confirm or deny um, that moment, uh, but I will say George had a lot of passion for the Cyclones and still does. T.J. Otzelberger has taken the Cyclones to the NCAA tournament in both of his first two seasons at Iowa State. How much do you watch uh, the football team? How much do you keep an eye on what Matt Campbell and company are doing? Yeah, a lot of respect for Coach Campbell and their program. Don't know a lot about football, uh, ins and outs, but I do know this. I know what winning culture looks like. I know what a great leader looks like and great coaches across the board. And uh, it's an honor to work in a department with such great leaders. Coach Campbell is one of those and a uh, big supporter of his. Great recruiting tool for us to be able to bring uh, men's basketball athletes to football games and see the, the energy and atmosphere that he's created through his hard work and leadership. Uh, it's, it's known that you're a Wisconsin guy, but it seems like, like me, you are now an Iowa guy, like this is home. What is it about being at Iowa State that you wanted so much? Because everyone knew you wanted to come back to Iowa State and you see it as a destination job. Why? Well, first of all, for me, I've grown up in coaching at Iowa State, and so many people have treated me so well, um, mentors along the way and people that have been great. Um, I believe in Iowa State. I believe in the vision. I believe in the mission. I believe in the leadership, Coach Winterstein, Jamie Pollard. Um, it's a place I have a lot of pride. My wife certainly, uh, she's the athlete in the family. She had a terrific career. So Iowa State, you know, at our core, it's, it's who we are. Uh, we live out being Cyclones every single day, and it's truly an honor to be the head coach at Iowa State. It means a lot to us and our family. Well, I found uh, one of the most interesting Ankeny residents you could run into here. We'll be right back with more RVTV Live from the district at Prairie Trail in Ankeny. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.